Hey gang, welcome back to Zone 4. I am Brant Fowler, a.k.a. The Gonzo Goose. And uh, first up, uh, thank you for watching uh, the channel. Um, I'm having a lot of fun doing this. I'm, I'm still fairly new to doing uh, videos and reviews on uh, YouTube, but I appreciate all the support, all the new subscriptions that uh, we've gotten since I've started, and uh, all the support from uh, over on Dark Avenger Inc. as well. And... Uh, you know, I'm gonna keep them coming. Uh, I just put a like two or three up this weekend. I'll I have more to come, uh, more Marvel now, and I'm starting to branch out uh, past that and do some other books as well. So uh, be on the lookout for all that. And uh, the reason for this particular video is because I was tagged by another member of Dark Avenger Inc., Mike Spider Slayer, uh, over at Comic Book Corner. And uh, he tagged me in this uh, comics I'm thankful for and wanted to know more about me and how I got into comics. And uh, then I'll pass it on to somebody else. So, uh, well, I, I don't know really where to start. It's, we kind of have some parallels because, uh, you know, I've always been into uh, superheroes and, you know, action adventure and sci-fi and all that kind of stuff since I was a kid. I remember uh, watching... Um, in between Bozo the Clown, I, I, I would watch uh, Spider-Man and his amazing friends, and uh, you know I fell in love with that. As cheesy as it is, you know, looking back on it now, but uh, you know I was a big Spider-Man fan from day one. Me and my cousin both, uh, you know, Spider-Man was it, and Batman was like a close second. So, uh, you know, Spider-Man's really what pulled me in. But I, I didn't read comics consistently for a number of years after that. Uh, we'd get them, you know, at the at the drugstore in those three packs on when they still had the when they still had uh, comic racks in the in the Walgreens and and Hex and you know Rite Aid and all that stuff. Uh, well, it was probably before Rite Aid, but um, yeah. So uh, you know, we we would get occasional comics here and there. I remember one camping trip. My my family used to go on summer camping trips and uh, to a lake and. There was one particular year that we went that it rained the whole time, and so me and my cousin were in the back of the truck, and they bought us a bunch of comics to read. And I think I was like seven or eight years old, and it was uh, all kinds of stuff. I mean, from uh, Firestorm to uh, Archie to um, Iron Man, all, all kinds of stuff. The first comic I remember reading, though, was uh, an issue of Iron Man, and I still have it somewhere. It's it's you know the cover is ravaged on it. I mean, it's torn and ripped and bent and discolored and all that stuff. But uh, it was an issue of uh, Iron Man with uh, Spider Woman. Uh, the I, I can't remember her. Je is it Jessica Carpenter or something Carpenter? The like redheaded Spider Woman, uh, and she guest starred and it was the Wrecking Crew and and all this stuff. And it, it just really excited me and everything. But uh, you know, I was still a big Spider Man guy. Um, G.I. Joe and Transformers really played a part into pulling me more and more towards that direction. I mean, I love G.I. Joe. Um, and, I, you know, I, I love Transformers as well. But I, I G.I. Joe, there was just some kind of connection with me and G.I. Joe. And um, I got my first two G.I. Joes in an Easter basket. I think it was, uh, I believe it was Bazooka and Cobra Commander. And then I got Torch and then Zartan and on and on. I would I would get a new one every week with my five dollar allowance. So <laughs> and um when I was about I guess I was about thirteen, twelve or thirteen, a friend of mine introduced me to my first comic shop. And it was like going to Disney World for the first time for me because I, I, I honestly did not know these places existed. I thought comics just came in drugstores and three packs and it was DC and Marvel together and you know, I didn't know the difference and all that stuff. Uh, but I walked into that comic shop and I, it was like in, in, the, in the movies where everything just goes still and there's a oh you know that it was that kind of moment for me and even though you know looking back that comic shop was like really small and dinky but uh and dingy and everything but you know for me it was magical and there was boxes upon boxes of uh you know back issues and then of course all the new issues across the wall and the toys up on the counter and stuff and i was just i was in heaven and uh, I started walking around and looking at all these different comics and I was like, oh, Amazing Spider-Man. Oh, Spider-Man has more than one title. And, you know, I was picking up Spider-Man and uh, then then my eye caught it and it was over. G.I. Joe. I, I had no idea 
that there was a G.I. Joe comic. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I knew of the cartoons and I knew the toys. I didn't I didn't even know at that point of the old style of G.I. Joe's, the big 12-inch dolls and stuff. But um, when I saw the comic, it was all over. That, that comic, a G.I. Joe comic, was actually what really drew me into uh, reading and collecting comics regularly. And I bought that first issue, and I think it was somewhere in the 70s, maybe 72, issue 72, and then every week after that, I would save up my pennies, and I, I actually took a jar full of pennies uh, at times, and uh, I would save up my money, whatever I could get, and every week I would go to the comic shop, and I would buy, you know, whatever new books that I that I saw that interested me, but I would always buy at least one, but usually a couple back issues of G.I. Joe, until... I built up as as many as I I could um, from what they had, which you know, over time I, I got quite a bit back way back into the 30s. Um, so I went back from the 70s to the 30s uh, in in number of issues, and I still have all of those. And that's and uh, you know, GI Joe is just, just one of those things that it, that's that's my book. As far as uh, superheroes though, Spider Man. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man, uh, the adjectiveless Spider-Man uh, that uh, McFarlane was doing for a while, uh, Spectacular Spider-Man, Web of Spider-Man, uh, when the Scarlet Spider came out, I was reading all of that. Uh, the whole Clone Saga, I was there through all of it, and uh, you know that was the big thing. Um, other comics that really drew me in, uh, New Warriors, Dark Hawk, and... Uh, the X-Men, the, the new team of the X-Men when they relaunched X-Men with the number one with Jim Lee and Chris Claremont I was totally on board with that and I started collecting that, I got all all four or five covers, how many ever there were and you know and that was just cool, I, I was a big Iceman fan from of course uh, Spider-Man is Amazing Friends and I was a big Firestar fan so New Warriors it's like oh I know her and so it was just those were the kind of books that I that I gravitated towards the teen heroes and then of course the the X Men being relaunched and I was a big Jim Lee fan I loved his art back then and so uh, yeah that was uh, those are really the books that drew me in um, yeah and from there uh, there was a period actually for about five years where I stopped reading uh, it was about nineteen I think when I stopped and I. Uh, just went on to other things, you know, I was, went to college and, you know, was hanging out with friends and everything and just kind of pulled away. And uh, it was actually CrossGen that uh, brought me back. I, I, every once in a while I would pick up an, an issue of Wizard Magazine, <clears throat> Wizard Magazine when it was still good. And uh, just to, just to catch up, see what I've been missing and uh, see what's going on in the world of comics. And CrossGen CrossGen at the time would put these full page ads of their books and I was like that looks interesting that's that's different that's new and uh, then I also caught uh, oh there's a new G.I. Joe series because the other one had ended the one that was at Marvel had ended with uh, issue 155 and then Devil's Due was bringing out a, out a new G.I. Joe and then there was all these CrossGen books and I was like you know what I'll just I'll swing by the comic shop and uh, I'll take a look around and see see what's uh see what's there and of course I found all the cross gen books and started buying those and grabbed the G.I. Joe and really that was all I was reading at first just the cross gen G.I. Joe and then it was slowly oh well, I'll see what's going on in X-Men oh well you know I do love Spider-Man so let's check that out again and eventually I just got pulled right back in and uh, I never left <laughs> I just I fell in love with uh, comics all over again and uh, I was there was a point where I was I was spending about 150 a week, um, and uh, I don't do that now. But <laughs> um, I was I was buying a lot of comics at, at one point, and I just I loved it. I totally immersed myself. I started reading some of the classic stuff that I missed out on. Some friends of mine lent me stuff like Kingdom Come and the original Crisis on Infinite Earths and uh, the the whole uh, Thanos um, Infinity Gauntlet stuff and all that. All those uh, classic stories that I had missed and hadn't really dove into before, and uh, you know, I, I could go on and on about all my uh, other experience in comics, and maybe I will at some point um, in another video. Uh, 
you know, when I was in college, I kind of fell into editing. I'll, I'll just give you a little brief uh, background here. I, I fell into editing with a small company, and that led to some other editing with other companies, and it led to uh, a job with a um, comic news site, and I became editor in chief of that. And I did that for like a year and a half, and that was my job. Uh, you know, I got paid for that and everything, and so uh, that was a lot of fun. I didn't have to do any other uh, kind of work, so that was that was great. And um, you know, then I I, I kind of stumbled into lettering about ten years ago. I was just uh, fooling around, and I I, en I entered a contest, and I my lettering back then sucked. And then I did some practice pages, and everybody liked them. And actually, one of the first pages I ever did. Uh, People still look at it and say, "I'd like my lettering like that." When I show them my samples, <laughs> I'm like, "Wow!" So uh, you know, I just I had a knack for it, and uh, you know, I started falling into paid work. It wasn't like something I sought out, and eventually it, it became a, a career as well. So you know, I'm very thankful to comics because they've uh, they opened up a, a, a door for me to uh, do something that, that I love and be immersed in a world that I that I really enjoy and. Um, you know, beyond that, I've, you know, the podcasting and stuff I fell into with some friends, and, uh, you know, then I found Comic Related, and, uh, we became really good friends, the, the guys behind, or, the guy behind Comic Related, he and I, and, and, of course, John and, and Darren and some of our other friends, we all became a really close-knit group, and, uh, it was the first time I'd ever had a group of friends that were into comics and stuff, so that was really cool. And uh, I got to hang out with them, and you know that we used to hang out at the comic shop and just you know chit chat and everything. We'd go to conventions together and stuff. Uh, the first convention I ever went to, oh my god, that was, it was I could uh, compare it to my first trip to a comic shop. It was just like you know it, it was just magical for me. And uh, then the very next convention I went to, I was set up as a as a creator, and I had my own book and. It's just been a it's been a whirlwind the past few years and you know I, I never imagined when I was this little kid reading comics that I would be making them and uh, and everything and you can't really see it in the video but I'll this is a uh, that's my comic right there how cool is that right <laughs> and uh, you know it's just it's been a trip man um, so you know I'm thankful for uh, GI Joe comics I'm thankful for uh, amazing spider-man uh, and all those crappy cartoons super friends and, and all that and uh, you know as far as what I what I really love to read now I, I am big into the Walking Dead that's one of my favorite series I love invincible um, that's another great uh, fun superhero series I'm really enjoying the Batman books uh, or at least some of the Batman books over in the the new D uh, the new 52 at DC um, I, I'm really enjoying most of Marvel now, which has really made me happy because I've been kind of out of Marvel for for a couple of years now, and I'm I'm a Marvel guy. I was always uh, big into all the Marvel characters and just the feel of their books and everything, and to be excited about them again. Uh, it's the first time I've really been this excited about them since Disassembled, so uh, I'm you know I'm excited about all that. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, what's in store next. And that's really, uh, that's really me and, and my world of comics. So, uh, like I said, I'll make another video that's more in-depth about uh, the creative side of it, maybe. Because, you know, I've, I started off wanting to be an artist, and then I became an editor and a writer and a letterer and a logo designer. And now a flat, a flat comics and stuff like that. So, it's a... Uh, like I said, it's been a whirlwind. So, uh, you know, I really want to thank uh, Mike Spider Slayer for uh, tagging me and, and kind of calling me out here because, uh, you know, we are new friends and, you know, I'm new to uh, both video reviews and to Dark Avenger Inc. And uh, they've been gracious enough to accept me into their group. And uh, I think we've fast become friends and we just kind of clicked and everything. And it's been a lot of fun for me uh, to be. Uh, involved with this group that are passionate about comics because you know a lot of times uh, I do have some older friends love you all but uh, some of my older friends are a little bit more jaded a little bit more cynical and uh, you know sometimes I get like that too and uh, these guys are totally not like that they are they are totally passionate totally excited and enthusiastic about it and it and it excites me and it, and it 
you know, it uh, just brings that out of me again, and uh, you know, I appreciate that. So um, I'm having a blast, and I, I thank you all, and, and thanks, Mike, for calling me out. So now it's left to me to uh, to tag somebody else to tell us what comics they're thankful for and to give us a little background on them. And I'm actually going to call it two people because I'm not sure one of them <laughs> will uh, will do this. Um, one of them is my good, very best, one of my best friends, uh, John Wilson, who is also one of my co-hosts on Zone 4. He does not do uh, video reviews yet, but uh, he has been wanting to for quite a while. And uh, I know some other factors have played into him not being able to, but I would like to just uh, tag him so he can introduce himself to this uh, this world of uh, video reviews and and even our, our little group of uh, of comic enthusiasts. So uh, John Wilson, buddy, you're up. And also, I'm going to call out a guy who I, I rarely get to talk to, but uh, he's uh, he became a fan of, of Zone Four, and you know he was he entered one of our contests, and I was really uh, really taken aback by the. Uh, the creativity that he put into that video that he submitted to us and and uh, I don't get to chat with him as often as I'd like so uh, Dakin Howlett Chris man you are up so Chris and, and, and John I'm tagging you guys and I, I want to learn more about you guys and see what kind of comics you're into and everything so again thanks for watching the Zone 4 channel and look for many more reviews to come here and over on Dark Avenger Inc. please listen to Zone 4 every Friday Zone4podcast.com, comicrelated.com, or you can listen to it and slash watch uh, the video, whatever I put up, if it's uh, stills or slides or whatever, on uh, Dark Avenger Inc.'s YouTube channel on Sundays. And don't forget, our 200th episode is coming up very soon, January 11th, and we're doing it live, we're doing it video, we're doing it through a Google Hangout so you guys can watch and, and chat along with us. And uh, we're going to have some guests on there, and we're just going to have a lot of fun with it. And uh, it'll be right here on this uh, this YouTube channel, so uh, check that out. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.